मरवार्थ प्रसाद बड़ी बेदने तो हिम पोलना का कनवाई मारिड़े मैल तो मन पाड़ uh, <laughs> Gonna be the next legend, which which we always believe in, is it, Sri Ram? And uh, thank you so much, Sid, for now accepting this with us. And we're we're, we're very happy, we're very proud to now have the show on our brand, Noise and Grains. Like, Indo, we're very opportunity. Marry, I'm a part of. And uh, in the show is is gonna be the massive. It's gonna be big. It is going to be the greatest show because we have one of the this generation's greatest singer, Sid. Sid, I. இதுக்கு மேல நான் பேசணும் அவசியம் கிடையாது இவர் சொல்வாரு என்னோட உண்மையும் தான் எல்லாருக்கும் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப தேங்க்ஸ் அண்ட் உங்க சப்போர்ட் இதே மாதிரி எங்களுக்கு கொடுத்துட்டு இருங்க நாங்களும் எங்களால் முடிஞ்ச வரைக்கும் எங்களோட வேலைகள் எல்லாமே கரெக்டா பண்ணிட்டு இருப்போம் வணக்கம் and ipo in the time la i think it's the most important tool uh, to spread love uh my thanks to noise and grains for for putting this together uh, it's going to be one of the most memorable shows for me and my band i'm sure for everyone that's there and for all of you uh, again thank you so much uh, chennai chennai da enoda you know, home uh inga na na chennai la ponda I grew up in the US but I always feel like my roots are here. In the city has has accepted me given me so much love so this show is our way to give back to the people of Chennai. Uh we can't wait and it's going to be full of music love and great great energy. Sir mota etna part part paringa enna enna language? Yatna part na the show will go for about 3 hours. So on the time la Avalo part to part more you know all of us are maybe around 30 35 songs uh languages will will span all my languages mostly tamil lots of telugu some malayalam songs i've sung uh maybe one or two hindi songs but mostly tamil telugu and then those few malayalam songs now i've also done a lot of compositions in english so we'll throw in a couple of those so it'll span it are highlights iruka avanga kuda vera yaar paadranga uh the we're planning now so everyone will see when the show happens sir senior singer sera do unga kuda paada porangala adu theriyala no we're just in the process of conceptualizing the show um possibly hopefully maybe that'll be nice okay idula vandu unga paadalga mattu paada poringala illa matra isayamai palargal isayamaitha paadalgal la paada poringala illa vera songs la irukum so enoda show paathina it'll have my songs i've sung for crew and besides that uh எனக்கு என்ன சாங்ஸ் நிறைய பிடிச்சிருக்கு வெளிநாட்டு கலைஞர்களுக்கு வந்து அதிகமான வாய்ப்புகள் தருவாங்க நீங்க எப்படி அதாவது 
I perform with the same band every time. Uh, 2016 in the Vare band. Da. So they're like my brothers, they're like my family. And we perform together, so we have that chemistry on stage together. So it'll be the same band as always. So the February Lover's Day. அதுக்கு முன்னால நம்ம ஃபங்க்ஷன் நடத்துறீங்களா காதலர்கள்லாம் ஏதாவது சிறப்பு தள்ளுபடி எதுவும் உண்டா டிக்கெட்ல இல்ல அதுல இன்னொரு क्वेश्चन ऐड பண்ணுங்க அங்க நீங்க யாரோ ப்ரோபோஸ் பண்ற பிளான் அந்த மாதிரி ஏதாவது இருக்கா அது கூட கேட்டுக்கோங்க ஃபுல் ஷோ 뮤직 ஃபோக்கஸ் தான் அவ்ளோ தான் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ பேக் ஃபுல் பேண்ட் மெம்பர்ஸ் லா சென்னை தான் தே ஆர் फ्रॉम ஹியர் மை பிரதர்ஸ் फ्रॉम ஹியர் லைக் மை செல்ஃப் ஓகே நீங்க இப்ப சமீப காலமா வந்து நாட்டுப்புற கலைஞர்கள் எல்லாம் குரல் கொடுத்துட்டு வரீங்க இந்த இப்ப பாட போற நிகழ்ச்சியில அவங்களுக்கு ஏதாவது வாய்ப்புகள் கொடுக்க போறீங்களா அந்த மாதிரி பாடல்கள் எல்லாம் பாட இருக்கீங்களா டெஃபினெட்லி अगेन who are going to bring on stage who else will be there with me we're still deciding but it will uh, definitely highlight that as well எங்களுக்கா ஒரு பாட் இங்க ஒன்னு அது சோல தான் மியூசிக் டைரக்டர் ஆறீங்க நாளைக்கு மணி சாருது அந்த சாங் வந்து கச்சிரில இருக்கும் ஆ डेफिनेटா இருக்கும் ஒரு I don't know which songs, but we're going to definitely include some of those songs from that album. Very excited. Tomorrow, Barnum Quarter Tom album is coming out. So, my first debut as a music composer. On the time lay, the show is happening. So, it feels like many blessings are happening at one time. So, we'll definitely perform a few of those songs as well. Shri Satya Narayanam Upasmahe Nityam சத்தியநாராயணம் உபாஸ்மே நீச்சம் சத்தியானந்தமயம் சர்வம் விஷ்ணுமயம் independent musician yeah. so every independent musician want to love from people so you're doing lot of stage shows how do you uh, feel now about the respect uh, response from the audience because lot of people is fall in love with you it's a blessing uh, i started releasing music in 2009 through youtube i was in college so i was making music in my dorm room in boston and when i was doing that i was just doing it because i loved the music and i i wanted to get my voice out uh so in the journey ipti pohona i never actually it's surpassed my dreams um and to be able to have the love of the fans to perform in front of thousands of people and um it's beautiful and one thing i'll say is even to this day that same love that same passion for music that was there when i was a college student in the dorm room it's still there now it's only grown so it's a blessing i'm humbled and uh, i'll also say even though i've been in the industry now for 8 years it still feels like it's just the beginning there's so much more that's to come இந்த வாய்ஸ்க்கு நிறைய பேர் இந்த மாதிரி சித்து சிட்டா மாறுனாங்க இந்த மாதிரி வாய்ஸ் இருந்தாங்க இந்த வாய்ஸ் வர்றதுக்கு என்ன பண்ணணும் நிறைய பாடங்கள் இருக்காங்க நிறைய டிவியில் பாடிட்டு இருக்காங்க ஒரு டிப்ஸாக சொல்லுங்க என்ன பண்ண நான் முன்னாலே சொன்னேன் இந்த என்னோட வாய்ஸ்க்கு நான் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டி எடுத்துக்க முடியாது ஏன்னா தட் சம்திங் தட் யூர் போர்ன் வித் ஸோ ஐ ஐ டோன்ட் Yeah, I don't say I I can't take responsibility for the voice itself but for upcoming singers aspiring musicians uh two things I'll say the biggest thing first is hard work uh to this day uh, I practice carnatic music for about 2 2 and a half hours every day uh, as long as I'm not traveling and um and that's not to say everyone has to sing only carnatic music or something but practice whatever your uh mode of music training is practice every day that's the biggest thing nothing replaces that uh second is don't chase fame just chase excellence just uh 2012 la idea vandha enak adukapra 2014 la ennodu nindha both songs i i got to sing for my guru rahman sir um but adukapra me there was not many songs happening it was just kind of slow up what in the uh but on that time la na enna pannena i just made sure every day i practiced every day i made music i was composing every day i was dedicating myself to my craft uh and because i fell in love with the process of singing with practicing with making music then 
things started clicking for me. So, um, fall in love with the music, not with the fame, or don't idealize the fame. Idealize wanting to become the best musician you can be. That's two and then three. Uh, don't try to be like other people. Don't imitate others. Find your own voice. Find your own vision and go after that with a fiery passion. I think these three things, any young or old upcoming musician, there's no age. You can be 50 and still decide you want to sing or whatever. So whatever the age is, if you're starting off, just these three things is what I would say. Asit, uh, where are we? Yeah. yeah. So Rahman sir, when they are improvising, they are doing singers. If Raja sir, when you are doing a psycho song, so when they are doing a particular tune, they are demanding that they are doing a lot of singers. So how was the experience working with Raja sir? One correction is, Rahman sir, improvise. Okay. What they are doing is, he knows exactly what he needs, so he will give you different ideas to try. So, under the title, recording Pannacha, it won't be a set, this is it. He'll have different ideas. Now, Anga Pocha and I, the tribe Pandai Sadhir, Adlan, no chance. He is at the top of the mountain, I'm climbing the mountain. So, uh, that's what he will say. Uh, because he's letting this composition evolve in the studio. He has a multitude of ideas. So, these are all ideas coming from air, sir. Not coming from the singer ever, right. uh, including myself. That's one correction. Two, with Raja sir, he knows exactly, instead of letting it evolve in the recording, he's already envisioned every last detail of the song. So that is set before the recording starts and then we record it. So in that way it's different. But in the specificity of what each of these legends want, that's the same. They know exactly what they want and they have their different processes of getting it. That's the only difference. Two lines from Monan and Nanach, please. Uh, I'll do it at the end. We'll just finish the right, question. Right, yeah. Right, right. I want to make sure I get the lyrics right. So yeah. Yeah. And yeah, Sid. Yeah, Sid. Like, ninga padra almost 99% uh, of songs. All me periya chart bust right there. So like, when you get into a recording for a new song, does this add some burden of uh, responsibility or extra pressure to live up to your own benchmark? No, I don't think so. Um, every song is different. Every and there are isolated experiences that are not related to the previous song at all. Uh, I try not to, I don't even really check like charts and stuff anymore now. Maybe like two, three years ago I did. But now I, um, I never want to get caught up in my own hype. So I try to ignore all that stuff. Because the minute that happens then I'll start having that pressure you're talking about. So it's just every song is a new experience, every song is its own world. And the composer has their vision for the song. So the only thing I think about when I go into a recording is, uh, what does the compo composer expect of me? How can I give my heart and my own uh, DNA to this song to give it my life? Uh, so in that way, it's it, and I I don't think paracha perform paracha compose paracha. I don't think about anything. Else. I try to turn my mind off, so I'm like I'm blank and I'm just as present in that moment as possible. The minute I start thinking about, oh, is this song going to do well? Uh, will this be as big as my last song? Then the magic leaves the room. Because music is not from here, it's from elsewhere, you know. So I, I try just to keep my mind shut and let the music just channel through me and do what it has to do. Yeah, one more, like, uh, one of the songs, but you know, the melody or some western touch like songs are very good. Like, local folk, kutte, and the Mary John Islam, like, do you have that instinct to... Yeah, one of the songs I sang for Raja sir from Tamil Rasan, Vijay Anthony's yeah, movie is, is a folk song. Yeah. It's my first one, I think. Uh, and I love the way that song sounds, so I think there'll be more. Uh, hi, sir. Hi. You are a singer and now a music director. Yes. Any plans to act in movies? No, not not right now. No, I don't think so. I, um, I've kind of dedicated my life to music. <laughs> He's saying we should. Uh, Rahman, sir. Um, Rahman, sir. Uh, yeah, his voice is a gift to the universe. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I won't say never, but. I'm also not really a good actor. Cameras make me a little nervous. So I say that as there's all these cameras here. But no, not for now. Right now, music and only music. I put that on music direction. So I'd leave a little time. Maybe five years from now, if you ask me the question, I can give you a better answer. 
ஸோ இண்டிபெண்ட் மியூசிக் ஆல்பம்ஸ் வீடியோஸ் அந்த மாதிரி பண்ணுறதுக்கான இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இருக்கு நிறையா பண்ணியிருக்கேன் first self produced full length album yeah um it was all in english the next one i'm working on will be multilingual will be in tamil and english as well uh so yeah that's like uh, he asked in the beginning that's how my career started so uh and i think the demand for different kinds of music you know if you look at vanam kottattum songs itself the the sound of the album is very different than what you hear right now uh and i think that's going to be my role in this industry as a music director to offer a new perspective um so i'm taking the same kind of spirit and essence that i felt when i make the independent music and i'm breathing that into the cinema side um and yeah that's what i want to be able to do thank you amma my mom that's why i ask அன்டில் நவு இல்லை பட் நீங்கள் சொன்னதுக்கு அப்புறம் மேபி ட்ரை பண்ணலாம் இட்ஸ் நாட் அ பேட் ஐடியா ஷோ ஐட் லவ் டு ஐம் ஆல்வேஸ் ஓப்பன் டு எவ்ரி திங் ஐ லவ் ஆல் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் மியூசிக் ஐ திங்க் ஆஸ் எ மியூசிஷியன் சிங்கர் அண்ட் அ க்ரியேட்டிவ் பர்சன் த க்ரியேட்டிவ் ட்ரைவ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் பர்சூட்ல இருந்து தான் வருது ஆல்வேஸ் ட்ரை டு புஷ் பவுண்ட்ரிஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் ட்ரைங் சம்திங் நியூ திஸ் being a music director itself for the it came at a time for me when i felt like i needed something new in my life something to push my boundary something to really kind of push my own limits so i'm always trying to do that i never want to get too comfortable so yeah sure maybe sometime in the near future i the sid in the show da per all of no hit und siddha vechad so if you want to ask him why did he keep it i think that would be a right question for him I I can answer that. Uh so I think my first place on it the 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 world is in an interesting place. The whole world is in an interesting place. I think there's a lot of divisive energies and um and firstly so na madri I think music is the strongest most powerful tool to spread love because music now the energy form that sonic energy it's 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 a form that i think can shake people on a very subconscious level beyond words just spoken beyond um many other actions music can molecularly kind of change the way people think and feel uh na direct away and the effect that i have seen when i do a show i've seen the way other people's music impacts me raman sir wrote a part of a part of coke studio land it it's called nan yen perandin um that song even to this day if i hear it like two lines in all start crying and that's the kind of power music has uh, about two years ago after every instagram facebook twitter post now in the all love no hate i started putting it as a tagline because I felt like for me personally I wanted to remove any feelings of hatred any feelings of jealousy these normal human things that everyone feels these tendencies from my own heart so it was a way of self cleansing so on the process la uh, simultaneous I and our fan base all started really growing 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 so then they started seeing me use this and they also started using it and I saw that the phrase itself had a very positive impact and it was a way for people to remember to choose love instead of hate it sounds cliche and it sounds a bit um uh yeah a bit cliche but i think it's very true uh it's a simple decision one can make to choose love instead of hate so um this show this is my first time doing a larger scale show here in chennai and my goal is to spread as much love and to create a really really positive space with the people of this beautiful city um and that's really the goal uh with this first of feb eighth show and then the whole south india tour um and i can't wait because when you do that you feel like you're actually changing the way the world moves and that's the goal yeah. and uh, sid like here yeah, yeah. அண்ட் தெலுங்கு ஒலியும் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இப்போ ரீசெண்டாக நீங்கள் பாடின பாடின அளவு ஐக்கும் அப்புறம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா லைக் இட்ஸ் அ சென்சேஷனல் லைக் ஹவு இஸ் யுவர் கம்ஃபர்ட் லெவல் வித் தெலுங்கு டிக்ஷன் ப்ரொனவுன்சேஷன் ஆல் தட் வெல் தெலுங்கு இஸ் நாட் மை ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஓர் மை செகண்ட் லாங்குவேஜ் பட் ஐ திங்க் த லாங்குவேஜ் இஸ் வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் 
So it's something I'm constantly working on. Uh, with Sama Javaragamana, I was very happy, obviously, with the response. Obviously, um, it's uh, it's just a great feeling, you know. So to get the love of the Telugu-speaking audiences and to get their support is very heartening. Um, and the pronunciation is something I'm constantly working on, but my background is in Carnatic music, and uh, most Jagraj activities, or um, a lot of them, are in Telugu, so I grew up singing. So the pronunciation, or like the phonetics, is not too foreign to me, um, but uh, I'm always trying to improve in every area, musically, singing wise, pronunciation wise. So that's something that's also a constant work in progress. Uh, hi, sir, you're from the US. Any plan? Okay. I'm Please. from Chennai. I grew up in the US, okay. but I'm from here. From here. So you grew up there. Any plans to uh, record music and eventually win a Grammy award? I mean, that's uh, if it's in God's plan. Sure. I'm gonna keep recording music, uh, and my next album, like I said, will be in English. Will be in multiple languages. There'll also be Tamil in it. But um, yeah, to get that kind of recognition from something like the Grammys would be great. But uh, one thing I've learned is not to chase awards. Uh, I'd rather make an album that is super impactful, that is really embraced by people all around the world. And as a byproduct of that, if something like the Grammys happens, then amazing. Um, so I won't say it's a goal to get a Grammy. It's a goal to make an album that I can really get behind and feel super proud of. Uh, and if a claim comes from that, then um, I'm obviously going to be happy. Shilam sir, in the negative different article or one, or lovers or one, appa maga or one, amul ke endu mari part niya paduinga or. So, yana ke or a different ana part la ammi jisko career la. So you take a maru arte which is a love song, then you have karnana karne which is father and daughter, kurumba father and son, then um, uh, you know just these different kind of emotions. Uh, so we'll perform all of those. And what I think I love about my shows and about the way me and my band perform is we don't really, um, anyone can come and enjoy it. It's definitely for any age group from a little four or five year old to the oldest person and they can have fun. Yanana and the shows, the biggest thing we do is we make sure that we perform without apology. We perform without any inhibitions. So if we do that, then automatically the audience also feels like they can get up and dance and move and clap. And again, from the youngest to a 19-year-old teenager who, who wants to be cool to a 70-year-old you know, you know, elder person who just wants to come and have a good time and move about. There's no... Uh, it's, it's just a very pure energy that, that gets formed in these shows. And... Um, that's what I love most about them. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's not completely true. I was full day on Paneer Kare. Dali Boga Delana, full. I started at 10 a.m., we finished by 6 p.m. So it's not all the way true. I, I create at whatever point. Whenever the inspiration hits, we create. That's all. So. That's not true. Night time is not true. Anytime he feels like making music. I don't know. I don't know. The biggest song I've sung for ASR was done during the daytime. Macho was also done around 4 p.m. So it's, I mean, but maybe each creative person has their preference of when they feel like they can really uh, channel. You know, so. Uh, I, it's, it's been a different thing. Sometimes some of the songs I've done, uh, this Karnatangam song, which was the first single, uh, that I did during the daytime. Uh, and that kind of came together over a few days. Then uh, one of the songs, Kenuir Katre, which just released two days ago, that was done mostly in the night. Uh, we I composed it in the evening time, and then we finished it by, let's say, like 3, 4 a.m. So we work through the night. So again, I don't really say this is the time I like to... Some days I wake up and first thing in the morning I feel like going to the studio and making music. Other days, day title one me or the ideas la one me or the night time la suddenly something will come and we'll just go for it. So it just depends on when the inspiration hits. Uh, 
I, I can't say. I think it's any time. Well, Sid, apart from recordings, what did this do you perform me on the stage personally? Or what do you feel inside when you're performing on the stage? When I perform on stage, again, my mind is off. I, I'm just in another zone, kind of. It feels like uh, another energy from elsewhere has come and I'm just channeling that. And there's an interaction between me and my band members where we'll all like look at each other and there'll be this intensity where we're all sharing in this collective joy and that joy goes out to the audience. So I don't really think about anything. I'm just trying to... Uh, like I said, be empty. It's almost like a form of meditation where you forget yourself and you just become a center for this energy to go off. Like the one thing I tell myself before I go on stage is be an energy center. Like just collect and give, collect and give. That's that's kind of like the idea. But I don't think about anything. The minute you start thinking on stage, that's when the show starts going down. So well, that can be anything from a a cinema show, independent music, Carnatic music, all of them. It's just you want to go there, just be present and just uh, surrender to the moment. So, in the middle of music diet writing, from a young age, they music diet writing. If you have a music diet, you can sit down and make a comedy diet. You can make a part of the world. You can make a part of the world. But still, voice is my primary. When I uh, compose, I'll put down some basic chords, and then I'll sing ideas first, and then I, at the end, I, I evolve the song. Sir, kanna ne kanne, ore oru mura padi na sir. Murichala sir. Kanna na kanne, kanna na kanne, yen me desaya vai. Punana mendai, punana kaya. Pupula niva va Nankat ninden kalangal dorum Unye kam tiruma Kanni rai me kam turum Kanni serum Karkandai maruma Harari raro 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 Harari raro 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 kanna na kanne kanna na kanne Thank you.